What is up, Coretics? In this video, I'm going to be talking about this week's Dub Money Event Week, as well as the newest additions and discounts as well. So this event week is for November 3rd through November 9th, 2022. So for new content this week, we unfortunately did not receive a new Drip Feed car for this week. We only have two left, which are the Sentinel Classic Wide Body and the 10F Wide Body. Nobody knows when they're going to release. Hopefully, next week we get the Sentinel or maybe both the Sentinel and the 10F. Who knows? Only Rockstar does, apparently, because they randomly skip weeks whenever they want. But anyways, the current prize ride for this week is the Mamba. So this car is primarily based on the AC Cobra Mark III, and it has a normal price of just under $1 million. To get this car for free, you have to place top three in a street series race for five days in a row. Now usually we see the five day in a row requirement for multi-million dollar cars, but for a car that's under a million, I think that's a bit ridiculous. But anyways, in terms of performance, this car is in the sports classics class and is around mid-pack in that class, around the pace of the JB700 for most tracks. However, its top speed and acceleration is fantastic, really good. It just suffers in terms of handling, but actually that's why I kind of like the car, if I'm being honest. It's just a ton of fun to kind of toss into the corners with that great exhaust note. It's just a fun car to drive in general. In terms of the test ride vehicles for this week, we have the GT500, the Altark, and the Pariah as well. And for next-gen console players, we have the Banshee as the HSW test ride vehicle for this week. Now, in terms of a casino podium vehicle, we have the Comet SR. So this vehicle is primarily based on the Porsche 997 GT2 RS, and it has a normal price about $1.1 million. In terms of performance, it is in the sports class and is in top 10 for track performance. It's just a really nice car to drive with great handling and a nice balance of speed, etc. It might not look as good as the Comet S2, but in my opinion, it definitely drives a lot better. In terms of the dealership cars for this week, for luxury autos, we have the SC1 and the Viserys as well. And for Simeons, we have the Sultan RS Classic, the Hustler, the Cypher, the Hermes, and the Sentinel Classic as well. And I find it ironic how they're kind of teasing us with the Sentinel Classic being here in Simeons, since we still don't have the Benny's widebody variants available in game yet. Ah, Rockstar. <laughs> Continuing to the discounts. In terms of property discounts, we have 40% off the facility of this week, as well as 40% off the upgrades and renovations for it as well. Moving on to the vehicle discounts, we have the Hustler. So this car is in the muscle car class and is around 30th place in that class, being around the pace of the Stallion. And the reason for this is mainly because of its poor handling and braking, which is unfortunate because this thing has incredible acceleration and speed as well. It's basically a drag car. I think it's a great buy if that's what you're looking for. Next up, we have the GT500. Not the Mustang, Rockstar has this one as a Ferrari, but anyways, it's in the Sports Classics class and is around 20th place in the class depending on the track. So not the quickest car, but I personally think it's still a pretty good looking car in general. Moving along, we have the Viserys. So this car is in the Sports Classics class and has fantastic straight line speed and some pretty decent handling as well. It's basically the car you wanna use when you come across a top speed intensive track not including HSW cars, of course. Next up, we have the Altark. So this car is in the supercar class and has insanely good handling and speed as well and can place itself in top 10 depending on the track. Moving along, we have the infamous Pariah. So this car was recently dethroned as being the fastest non-HSW car by the Weevil Custom. However, it still remains to have the highest top speed in the sports class, again, not including HSW cars, and at under a million dollars, I think this is an insanely good deal on this car. I would highly recommend getting it if you don't own one already. Moving along, we have the SC1. So this car is in the supercar class and is one of the slower ones in that class. Personally, I think the car just looks a bit strange, plus the fact that it's pretty slow for being a supercar and the customization really isn't all that great. 
Moving on to the Seven San Andreas website, we have the Hermes. So this car is in the muscle car class and has great acceleration and speed and pretty decent handling. It just lacks in terms of braking. But even with that, it still places itself around 25th place in that class for track performance, which is very impressive. Plus it has great customization as well. Next up, we have the Sentinel Classic. Again, ironic because we still don't have <laughs> The Sentinel Classic wide body and game, Rockstar keeps teasing us, and Simeons, and on discount, it's just fantastic. <laughs> Hopefully we get it next week. But while it's on discount, you might as well buy it, because if you do plan on upgrading your Sentinel Classic to the wide body variant whenever it releases, I would highly suggest buying it now so that you get that discounted price, because you're going to buy it eventually anyways, might as well save some money. Moving along, we have the Camacho. So this truck is arguably the best value in game for off-road performance, even at its normal price. But with a discount, this is actually an insanely good deal for an off-roader that's still in top three for most races in the off-road category. This is just probably one of the best deals. It has great customization, overall just a really good vehicle, and I highly, highly recommend getting one if you don't own it already. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have the Kanjali tank. So this is currently still the best tank in the game. However, with all the weaponized vehicles we have in game like the Oppressor, the Toreador, etc. It's just not that good to use anymore. It really just depends on the situation because you can get spammed with rockets and die pretty easily. Next up we have the RCV. So this thing is basically a police fire truck, but it's pretty slow, doesn't have explosive armor resistance at all. Honestly, I think it's a pretty useless vehicle, but that's just my opinion. I can't remember the last time I used mine. Moving along, we have the Akula. So this is the helicopter that has the stealth function. Overall, I think it's a pretty good one to own in your collection, especially at this cheaper price. Next up, we have the Volatol, one of the largest jets in the game. Other than the novelty of it being a giant plane, I honestly see no real use in owning this thing personally. Moving along, we have the Barrage, probably my least favorite weaponized vehicle because it's just terrible at off-roading with its non-existent stiff suspension and the fact that it's all open you can get easily shot out. But mainly the suspension part, it just feels like you're literally off-roading a shopping cart. It's, it's just absolutely terrible. In terms of login unlocks, you can get this Rockstar Black t-shirt just for logging in this week, which is pretty boring if I'm being honest. However, if you complete the Bogdan Heist and Doomsday Heist this week, you unlock the Clifford hoodie and Varsity jacket, which is pretty cool. In terms of double money, we have double money and RP on street races this week. And very randomly, only double RP on the Humane Lab's last team standing. In terms of heist bonuses, we have double money and RP on the Fleesa Job Heist, and double money and RP on the other OG heist setups, but not the finales. Very weird. <laughs> and lastly, we have a 50% payout boost on the Doomsday Heist, which means Act 1, 2, and 3. Moving on to the Prime Gaming bonuses for Prime Gaming members only, so again, same as usual, the only thing we have is the usual free $125,000 for logging in during the event week period. And lastly, this week's RC Bandito time trial is Construction Site 2. This week's normal time trial is Up Chiliad. I highly recommend a fast bike such as the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, or Batty 801 for this time trial. In terms of the premium race for this week, it seems it hasn't been changed as of yet. I did restart my game twice and it's still missing on my end, so most likely it hasn't been updated yet by Rockstar. Once it does, I will update it in the pinned comment down below. And lastly, for next-gen console users, the HSW time trial is East Vinewood. As always, the HSW Hakachu Drag will be the best one for these. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm gonna have to go with the Pariah. One of the fastest cars in the game, even faster than almost all the supercars, at under a million dollars, I think it's an insanely good deal on this car. And the Camacho is also a good deal too, but I think the Pariah was just a little bit better of a deal. 
Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall, this event week is pretty good with some fantastic discounts, but I do wish they would have put double money on all the original heists instead of just the fleece head job by itself and then randomly doing the setups for the other ones, but not the finales and double money. That's that's just kind of a tease, but I guess it is what it is. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.